Hi, I'm Bradley Gibbons and you're joining me today again at Royal Berkshire Fisheries and today we're fishing on Lake 2. As you can see the sun's out and spring has finally arrived after a long winter. Because of this the fish are moving around a lot more and it means they're coming up in the layers of water so we can finally catch them shallow. The water is still quite cold so it's not conventional summer bagging shallow fishing but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fishing maggots and trying to put as many fish in the net as possible. Onto the rigs. When we're fishing shallow at this time of year, you've got to have a lot of rigs set up. The main reason for this is the fish are at all different depths. In the summer, when the fish are very active and the water temperature is very high, the fish could be six, eight inches deep and you could pick up one rig and stay on it all day. I've got two rigs set up today. I've got an MVR Finesse Series 4 float for my very shallow rig, which is only two foot deep today. And then I've got an MVR Finesse Series 6 float for fishing three, three and a half foot deep. I can move each one of these rigs about six inches here and there so I can cover a wide amount of water. The reason I use an MVR Finesse Series 4 for my shallow rig is it's a lot shorter afloat, still got nice visible hollow bristle, but because it's shorter it's not waving around loads. Whereas when I'm fishing a bit deeper, maybe three and a half foot, I use the Finesse Series 6. Still got nice hollow bristle, uh, slim floats and minimal resistance, but because it's a little bit longer it's a little bit more stable. So they're the two floats I'm going to use. In terms of the main line I'm using, both rigs are on 016. Some people might say it's heavy for this time of year. However, the heavier the line you use when you're fishing shallow, the less tangles you have. Because the heavier the line, the stiffer it is, and it kicks everything away from your float. On for hook length, I'm fishing an 010 hook length, nice and light to a size 18 hook and a single magger. The whole thing with this time of year is being very active. The more active you are when you're fishing shallow, the more fish you put in your net. You can catch five fish on one rig and think you're on to bagging, and then all of a sudden you can't get by. As soon as this happens, pick up another rig, move your float around, do something, make a difference, and then you can keep fish coming to your net. Right, so we've had an absolutely cracking day here today. Uh, caught a load of F1s, all shallow on maggots. Been brilliant. I've been absolutely amazed by the amount I've had to change my rig about to keep fish coming to the net. Not just changing depths, but little things like changing the length of your hook length, changing your shotting pattern from a strung bulk to a positive bulk. Look at that. Oh, nice big F1 to end the day just shows you that even, even though the water is still quite cold, this method of fishing, fishing shallow, don't need a lot of bait, maybe a pint and a half of maggots, tops, put lovely fish like this in your net all day long. Slip in back and we'll have a look, see what we got. 
So, as you can see, we've had an absolutely fantastic day today. Got around 60 pound of fish here, mainly all F1s, and our one solitary stocky we seem to catch every time. Uh, everything's been on maggot shallow. We've caught everything from moving our rigs about, changing depths, changing shotting patterns. Had to be very active today. It just shows that that pays off at this time of year. Don't forget to subscribe to Match Fishing Media for more content and like and share this video. We're going to slip these ones back. Until next time.